Sports Media. Sports Media presents Inside the Huddle. Inside the Huddle. Brought to you by Otterbox. Otterbox. Inside the Huddle is filmed live on location at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. Downtown Dallas. Let's, let's, go. let's go. Inside the Huddle. Inside the Huddle. Welcome in to Inside the Huddle. I'm your host, Jane Slater, with the NFL Network, and I am joined by a special guest tonight, especially coming off that performance against mm -hmm. the division rival and a sweep, might I add, of the Eagles, mm -hmm. Demarcus Lawrence. Can I get another big round of applause for this guy? I love the energy that we get in this room with this live audience, especially after a big Cowboys win. So, guys, thank you so much for coming out on a Monday night and hanging out with us. And for those of you that tune in every week in our markets in Arkansas, Texas, and Louisiana, we thank you so much for your support. So, unless you've been living under a rock, hmm. by now, as a Cowboys fan, you've heard of the Hot Boys. It is what the defensive linemen have dubbed their group this year. And I learned something interesting tonight. Hmm. I thought you were the innovator of the Hot Boys. There's one of our younger guys, Taco Charlton. Tell oh, me yeah. about that. Yeah, um, that that was the special moment. Uh, you know, him growing as you know um, a person, as a as a player on our team, and uh, he came up with the name. All the guys embraced it, you know, because you know we really feel like we're Hot Boys out there on the field, and um, we we live by it, and you know, um, it's a lifestyle. So, you know, that's that's how we take it. All right, define the lifestyle of a Hot Boy. Uh, I mean, if you're gonna, you know, be a hot boy, you gotta be about your actions, and um, you know, we we say, all right, bro, like, if we a brotherhood, you know, like, just like Tyrone's here tonight. Shout out to Tyrone for making Tyrone it out tonight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, like, we we have to be there for each other. What's it like when you see this really begin to catch on this hot boys mentality? I saw two kids here tonight. Where are our little ones that were wearing the hot boy shirts? There they are. Yeah. How cool is that to see oh, yeah. the little kids starting to embrace that mentality too? Uh, that's why we called ourselves the Hot Boys because we know uh, this is our season and, and, and we have to be able to you know, come in and take the world by you know, storm. And, and our storm is gonna be a heat storm. So uh, welcome to this heat storm. You know. <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, that was the main things. And you know, thanks to all the young kids that's you know, giving the support. Uh, tell your parents about the Hot Boys, all right? <laughs> Now, you're also, you're taking a step for, further. I love the bling. Talk mm -hmm. to me about what went into the, the Hot Boys bling. If you guys can't see it, perhaps you can Ooh. sort of show it off a little yeah. bit for the audience. Yeah, this this the official Hot Boy chain. Um, after, after you get your two sacks, you, you get your official Hot Boy chain, and Christmas is coming soon, so the guys that, that has their, you know, um, two sacks will be receiving them. Yeah. It does seem like the sacks are contagious this year. I mean, guys are just flying around the ball. And if you put in the tape and, you know, you go back and you, and you look at some of these games, I mean, you, where is that coming from, this tenacity to get after the quarterback this year? Uh, I, I feel like it's the attitude of the whole defense, you know. Um, we, we, we send, you know, A.B. on blitzes sometimes, you know, 54, uh, 55. And, you know, um, everybody just has an attitude that, you know, everybody wants a piece of that quarterback. And, uh, just like I tell the, the guys in the D-line room, you know, um, once you have the soul of the quarterback, you have the soul of the whole team. So, um, the, and that's what we embrace about, you know, going out there and playing. So I want to talk to you about you and your buddy over there, Tyrone Crawford, how you guys like to bite to school, so to speak, during the week and where that came from. So we'll have that and more when we come back here on Inside the Huddle. This is David Thomas with Premier Autos of Dallas. And I want to thank Dak Prescott for being our customer and our friend. And how do you like your car? Oh, I love my car. And I love the service. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Dak. Ooh, that's a good one. Hold still, hold still. Give me that sunscreen. Big smile. Why are you breathing so hard?
We all want to eat healthy, but eating enough fruits and vegetables every day is not only time consuming, it's expensive. That's why at Texas Superfood, we've created a blend of the best USDA organic fruits, vegetables, powerful enzymes, probiotics, and all natural herbs in a convenient capsule or a powder. We call it Texas Superfood Complete Organic. If you can't, won't, or don't eat all of your fruits and vegetables every day, Texas Superfood Complete Organic makes eating healthy easy. Go to TexasSuperfood.com today. Stellar Home Theater brings every touchdown to your home with amazing audio and video clarity. Top brands like Epson, Screen Innovations, Control 4, and more. Get a free audio upgrade and remote with every home theater purchase. Buy an Epson laser projector and SI Black Diamond screen and get the Dolby Atmos audio experience free. Call or sign up for a free consultation in the next 24 hours and you're entered to win Inside the Huddle TV show tickets. Visit our five locations or sign up at livestellarnow.com. Stellar Home Theater, the ultimate home cinema experience. Welcome back, everyone, to Inside the Huddle. I'm your host, Jane Slater, with the NFL Network, joined by Cowboys defensive end Demarcus Lawrence. So ahead of the break, we uh, sort of tease that you and your buddy, Tyrone Crawford over there, like to bike to work. Right. Where did this come from, and are you still doing it on chilly days like today? Oh, uh, yes. Um, so Tyrone actually came to me um, last year in the offseason. He was like, bro, like, like you are so good at Boise. Like, what, what was you doing differently? then than you're doing now and I was like man like shoot I ain't have no money to eat no food and you know I ain't have no transportation so he's like okay you know like you gotta eat less because I was about say what 285 <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, yeah I was on my Calvin Benjamin diet yeah so um, <laughs> like so I, I was pretty big you know and um he was like all right we got to start riding bikes every day you know so um, you know, he actually got me back on the bike. Um, and we started biking in to work, started losing weight, um, started getting quicker, faster, stronger, and it took off from there, you know. And, and he actually, you know, got skinnier, you know, quicker, faster, and stronger. So he had to move his position back to defensive end. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, it, was, it was just a blessing, you know, that you have a brother right there, you know, to stand by you and help you with those things. So how far is this bike in the morning? Uh, I say it's about four miles, but you know you going uphill at that time, and um, it can get a little tough if you um, get the chance to watch like my Instagram and me going live. You know, um, it can get pretty tough. Uh, I be you know trying to bike up, you know, up the hill doing the Instagram. I'm like, all right. Hold on, fans. Like I gotta put you in my pocket because this is pretty hard. So come on, we don't need an we don't need an in season injury because oh, you're cramming not. and biking. Oh no! I no. mean, come on, come captain on. over there. We we pretty good at it now. We can do tricks. That's impressive. Yeah. I mean, it, and I know you're a fan of the bird bikes. Have you guys uh -huh. seen those around Dallas? The the bird scooters, the electric yes. scooters. You daily. <laughs> they're amazing. Well. For if you haven't gotten on one, then you don't know the inner monologue that mm -hmm. happens. It's, have you seen that Geico commercial with the little pig? And it's just like, yeah. wee! That's how I feel when I get on one of those scooters. And so Bird hooked you up at camp with mm -hmm. some alternative uh, transportation. Did you right. enjoy your scooter? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, especially during camp, um, you practicing all day. You get out, um, your legs are so tired. and. Um, we actually got the chance to, you know, stay by the beach. So, like, on days off and stuff, like, my daughter, you know, my sons be, you know, out there on the beach riding and stuff. So, it was actually a cool gift. Yes. Just the imagery of seeing this large man balancing on a scooter, motorized through <laughs> Oxnard is just, to me, just amazing. And there was some video of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. We were going to do a story, and we didn't get around to it. So, maybe we'll do it next off season. Next off season. Shout out to Bird. We need more scooters. <laughs> I've made it no secret on the show that one of my favorite coaches in Dallas is Rod Marinelli, the defensive oh, yeah. coordinator. And 
I learned some awesome stuff about how he mentors you guys away from the football field. So I want to get your perspective on this because I had an interesting conversation with Tyrone uh, a couple of weeks ago about what he's meant to him as a man. So I want to prepare you for that because I I just want to get your takeaway about uh, Rod Marinelli and how he's coached you up a little bit. All right, cool. So we've got that. We come back here on Inside the Huddle. Stay with us. Uh, Mr. Manning, I'm a big fan. Do you mind? Yeah, sure, come on. Thanks. Thank you. Ready and. I know how he feels. I know how you feel. Pop up, pop up. Enjoy your hike. Enjoy your hike. Very sorry. My name's Joshua Jones, and my story began probably like a lot of yours are right now, where I was in dental pain, and I had several options, but I'd heard the amazing reputation of Dr. Lee and his staff and Crystal Creek Dental, and so I decided to move forward with dental implants and use them, and I'm glad I did. I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, Dr. Lee's great. Not only am I out of pain, I feel good about my smile. Love Dr. Lee. Love the uh, the staff at Crystal Creek Dental, and uh, I highly recommend them. Do you have old collections appearing as new collections on your credit report? This is a common tactic used by creditors and junk debt buyers. Did you know when they changed the date making that collection account look new, that tactic is illegal and they broke the law? Our computer system has been holding creditors accountable to the law for over a decade. If this is happening to you or someone you know, or you just like to have a consultation to find out what you can do to improve your score, call DNG Credit LLC, the Credit Cops, here to protect and serve your credit score. It was Thursday on the open sea, and the day was a big one. First order of business, waking up with a splash. Tiptoed across the Caribbean. Brunched on a burger. Conquered Grand Cayman. Found myself starring in a game show. No big deal. Wow, that's a keeper. Then polished off the night with Lingrini. Now it's off to bed. Another big day tomorrow. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle, presented by Otterbox. I'm your host, Jane Slater, with the NFL Network, joined by Dallas Cowboys defensive end Demarcus Lawrence. And ahead of the break, we talked about your defensive coordinator, Rod Marinelli. Mm -hmm. And when I had your teammate and your buddy, Tyrone Crawford, here a couple weeks ago, we talked about Rod Marinelli, the football coach, but also the guy away from the football field. Mm -hmm. What has he meant to you as a player, and what's that relationship look like away from football? Yeah, so um, my whole career, I've been on, you know, Rob Marinelli's belt, and um, his whole process is he's all about building the man first and then, you know, the player second. So um, he just want, you know, more real men in the locker room that, you know, are able to handle their business off the field, like um, precise, like family or uh, business after their career because he feel like football is the, you know, gateway of, you know, life and bringing people together or, you know, that, those sort of things. So um, he, do, he does like this thing on, you know, Saturday mornings, like man building. And um, he, he try to, you know, describe and, you know, um, teach us through books that he don't read about um, good man in his life or a good man through history or, uh, you know, good coaches of, you know, of sorts. So, um, yes, um, he takes that time out instead of, you know, drawing up X's and O's and, and things like that and, you know, sitting down with us and, and, and trying to show us, you know, the way of being a great man in this world. So it's kind of like book club with Marinelli on Saturday mornings? Yeah. It, it's actually, you know, pretty funny how he starts it. I can't, you know, sit here and describe it because, you know, that ain't y'all culture, but, you know, but it, it's pretty cool. It's, it's really pretty cool. What book has he assigned to you that resonated with you? Was there one that really stood out? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the Deacon Jones. Um, yeah, he had me read that my um, third year, the Deacon Jones book, and um, it was pretty amazing. Yeah. He also loves history. So does right. he really get into history with you as well? Oh, yeah. Um, it's, all, it's all about, you know, just just knowing where you come from or um, just knowing, like, he, he'll sit here and talk about samurai warriors just because um, their instincts and, you know, how they attack the battlefield or um, how the, I forget the name of the, 
the people, but how they burn their boats before, um, you know, they go and take over a village or whatever because they're, they're teaching their, their self, like, it's no turning back. It's no, you know, point of return. So, you know, every time we step on that field, we have to burn the boats and, and know for 60 minutes straight, like, we're going to push straight forward, you know, so. How proud of this defense are you guys this year? Yes, we take a, uh, a lot of pride in, you know, our efforts and um, our day-to-day, -day, you know, work. Um, I, I mean, I feel like every, every guy on that defense comes to work every day with a smile on, his, on their face and, you know, ready to get better. Um, so, I mean, this hats off, you know, to those guys um, loving their jobs, um, loving where they're at in life. And, and that's the main thing It's like, you know, um, we have this golden opportunity to be great, not not good, you know, not mediocre, but, you know, great. I really want to get into this because we've got some young football players in the audience and you overwent a couple of obstacles in your college career to now be where you're at. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that, maybe give these guys a little bit of inspiration and then talk about where you see yourself in the next five years. Are you cool with that? Yeah, of course. We'll do that when we come back here on Inside the Huddle. Cool. David Thomas with Premier Autos of Dallas, and I want to thank Dak Prescott for being our customer and our friend. And how do you like your car? Oh, I love my car, and I love the service. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Dak. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. That's a good one. Look what you've done. Holly, I think you got it. Stellar Home Theater brings every touchdown to your home with amazing audio and video clarity. Top brands like Epson, Screen Innovations, Control 4, and more. Get a free audio upgrade and remote with every home theater purchase. Buy an Epson laser projector and SI Black Diamond screen and get the Dolby Atmos audio experience free. Call or sign up for a free consultation in the next 24 hours and you're entered to win Inside the Huddle TV show tickets. Visit our five locations or sign up at livestellarnow.com. Stellar Home Theater, the ultimate home cinema experience. We all want to eat healthy, but eating enough fruits and vegetables every day is not only time consuming, it's expensive. That's why at Texas Superfood, we've created a blend of the best USDA organic fruits, vegetables, powerful enzymes, probiotics, and all natural herbs in a convenient capsule or a powder. We call it Texas Superfood Complete Organic. If you can't, won't, or don't eat all of your fruits and vegetables every day, Texas Superfood Complete Organic makes eating healthy easy. Go to TexasSuperfood.com today. Inside the Huddle, brought to you by Otterbox. I'm your host, Jane Slater, with the NFL Network, joined by Cowboys defensive end Demarcus Lawrence. And want to give a shout out. We have some football players in the audience. You guys stand up real quick for me. This is the varsity football team, last year's hey. state runners up in 1A from Happy Hill Farm. Big shout out to them. Yes. Thanks for showing up, guys. We love when we get these youth football teams in here. And, you know, I think that you're a pretty good story about. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the easiest road to the Cowboys and the NFL. What sort of things did you learn in sort of your college career that you would you'd pass on to some of these young guys? Yes, um, I mean my route wasn't the easiest, um, and but that was all on me, you know. Um, growing up, I went to two-way high school, so it was no bigger than you know what you what you guys are playing in. But um, my story is that I had to go to junior college and. It can, junior college can be a little trickier and it can be a little tougher because, um, like, I had to go to Kansas and you only can have, like, 12 out-of-staters playing on the team. So um, even though, like, you're probably better than a guy from Kansas, <laughs> that guy from Kansas is going to play over you because, like, the other 12, you know, like quarterback, they need a left tackle or a safety or whatever that are better than you or that don't play before you. So um, you have to, you know, take that red shirt year and, you know, just sit back like, man, like, 
what now? You know, I'm just sitting here. I'm not playing football. Like, I don't understand. And, you know, um, it, it's, it's like, you know, once God gives you a vision, once God puts something in your heart that you really want to do, you stick with it no matter what and don't give up on yourself. So um, that was my main thing is, you know, I, I stuck with my vision. Um, I wanted it more, more than ever, you know, because, you know, basically somebody tried to deny it from me, you know, and, um, and that and that's my main thing in life, you know. Um, if if I want something, like I can't, I can't be denied from it because you know it's on my heart and I and I truly want it. So um, I got the opportunity to play the next year and um, did good. And really, my 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 reasoning for going to Boise was because they they were loyal to me before they even see me play football. I know that that's got to be discouraging for a lot of these guys that want to play that maybe go to these smaller schools and aren't heavily recruited. Mm -hmm. But how gratifying is it to you to know that, you know, while you had some of these obstacles, I mean, you are playing for one of the premier teams in the NFL. You're going to hit the market next year and mm -hmm. be one of the best defensive ends out there. Is there a level of, you know what, I'm sort of glad I had that setback because it made me appreciate where I'm at a little bit more? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Um, and, th and that's, you know, the whole reason behind you know, my attitude, my hunger is because, you know, I had to go through these obstacles. I, I had to be denied, you know, um, and, and that, that, that's, that's what made me and shaped me into the person I am today. Uh, when we come back, we're going to talk to one of our sponsors. Without them, this show wouldn't be able to go. So we appreciate you hanging in there with us. We'll be right back here on Inside the Huddle. All right. We all want to eat healthy, but eating enough fruits and vegetables every day is not only time consuming, it's expensive. That's why at Texas Superfood, we've created a blend of the best USDA organic fruits, vegetables, powerful enzymes, probiotics, and all natural herbs in a convenient capsule or a powder. We call it Texas Superfood Complete Organic. If you can't, won't, or don't eat all of your fruits and vegetables every day, Texas Superfood Complete Organic makes eating healthy easy. Go to TexasSuperfood.com today. I am Zarina Samidon, founder of Vitality Wellness Clinic. Growing up in a small village in Sri Lanka, I always believed in the healing power of proper food choices and non-pharmaceutical medicine. Our practicing doctor, Dr. Jason Singh, has been healing people worldwide for 35 years, utilizing acupuncture, cupping, and other methods. For more information, give us a call at 817-527-6077 or click us at www.vwellnessclinic.com. Hi, my name is Joshua Jones, and my story began probably like a lot of yours are right now, where I was in dental pain, and I had several options, but I'd heard the amazing reputation of Dr. Lee and his staff and Crystal Creek Dental, and so I decided to move forward with dental implants and use them, and I'm glad I did. I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, Dr. Lee's great. Not only am I out of pain, I feel good about my smile. Love Dr. Lee, love the, uh, the staff at Crystal Creek Dental, and uh, I highly recommend them. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle. This sponsor spotlight features Crestron. And again, we would not be able to do this show without some of our amazing sponsors. So Jerry, thank you so much for your commitment to our show. And we enjoy having you up here. So before you walked up, I asked you if you're from the Dallas area. Yes. Always been a Cowboys fan? Always. Uh, out of the womb. I was born and raised in Mesquite, Texas. And uh, Cowboys all the way. Yeah. Ne ne never, never waver. Through the good, the bad, everything, it's it's uh, it is fantastic to be a Cowboys fan. Need, Best fans in the world. We need more people like you. You know, we were just talking about. You said you were a Cowboy fan uh, coming out of the womb. In the break, he told me that he actually was a Broncos fan, but his dad changed that for him at a young age. You want to tell the the audience that story real quick? Yes. Um. So me growing up as a kid, um, can't remember the age or 
you know, what game it was that the Cowboys was playing the Broncos, but, you know, Terrell Davis was playing, and, you know, I was like, okay, you know, TD's real nice, and I was following up my cousins or whatever, but my dad heard me. It's like, I'm a Broncos fan. He's like, go outside. So I'm like, okay. I went outside. I just hit the door lock. You know, I'm like, <laughs> so, so me as a kid, I'm wondering, like, what is he doing? So I'm out there, you know, playing football and stuff, and I'm like, all right, I want to, you know, watch the game. Like, halftime is over, so I knock on the door. Nobody comes. I'm like, okay, like, this is weird. Like, what is he doing, you know? He comes back for a quarter, and he's like, you still a Broncos fan? I'm like, yes. Close the door, lock it again. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, I get, I get your point. Like, you're From a Cowboy fan. that day forward. Yes. So it wasn't necessary. It's kind of like the motto we have in Texas. It's like, uh, essentially, like, you know what? You don't have to be born here, but mm -hmm. if you come here, we'll, uh, we'll let you be an honorary Texan. So. Oh, yeah. Do you appreciate the fact that now he's a, both I, the Cowboys I, a and a player? A whole new level of respect. A whole new level market. of respect. And his dad, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, his pops. dad, he did it right. Absolutely. That yeah. was. A now, he's a dad now, in the, and you've got three kids in, in, right. in the household. You have a company that can make things a little bit easier in his house. Maybe you can share that with us, Jerry. Yeah, we do. So, Crestron, we've been around for 50 years. We're, um, uh, we're all over the country. We've got offices in 90 different countries. Uh, uh, a really big organization. We do technology. I personally work on the commercial side, so I work a lot with the uh, big enterprise partners. Like I've got some great customers here from Toyota and from GM Financial. What's up, guys? Thank you guys for coming. Um, so we do conference room technology, unified communications, things like that. But we do have a big residential side of our uh, of our company as well. So we do a lot of the really cool smart homes. So I kind of. You always equate it to people like you see those cool touch panels that you walk into a home and you can hit one button and uh, all of a sudden, you know, the lights dim and the shades open and the volume comes up and it goes to your favorite station. And, and uh, we integrate with uh, companies like Alexa, you know, with the uh, Amazon and the Echo. Really cool stuff. We do. A, we really have a lot of great partnerships. Uh, we were selected as uh, the Microsoft IoT partner of the year this year. So, you know, really exciting stuff coming out. It's uh, uh, you know, I've been there for 17 years, and, you know, it's it's kind of one of those things that, you know, especially if you got any kind of geek in you at all, you know, right. you, you always get something new. There's always something cool new to talk about because, man, as you guys know, I mean, technology, man, it changes so fast. So there's always something great coming around the corner. I yes. don't want to put my dad on the spot, but this guy's got an app for everything. So he literally loves to show us that he can control the pool temperature, right. the sprinkler system. He feels like he's truly the master of his domain. Oh, yeah, so, Dad, absolutely. maybe you can talk to Jerry and, and help put it all in one place. Does that work for you? We, we, can, we can hook you up. Tom Slater is <laughs> going to come hang out with you later, Jerry. That's, like, totally up his alley. Thank you so much for your time. Like I said, thank you for your sponsorship. Crowd, give yourselves a hand. Yeah. You guys brought the energy tonight. We appreciate you. Tyrone Crawford, we appreciate you showing up and supporting your teammate. And to those of you at home, thank you so much. We also want to thank our partner here at Sports Media for helping us put on this show, and we will see you next time. We've got Dak Prescott here on Inside the Huddle. Inside the Huddle has been presented by OtterBox. Other sponsors of Inside the Huddle include Absolute Construction, AJL International, Beacon Hill, Complete Customs, Crystal Creek Dental, D&G Credit, The Credit Cops, El Mayor Tequila, Lone Star Neurology, North Texas Contracting, Premier Autos of Dallas, Star Travel and Tours, Stellar, Taylor Made Heat and Air, Texas Superfood, Thompson Law, Trendy Marketing, Two Choice Benefit Specialists, Vitality Wellness Clinic, and Extreme Wraps of Texas. Inside the Huddle is a sports media production. Executive producers Ray Salinas and Chris Vandeventer.